Oh, I remember what you did. And I know it's Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> they remember too. You were the reason that we were all there. It happened because of you. And you can't tell anyone. Why would you? It is your fault. All of it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Five Nights it's at Candy series. It's me and series. Lane. It's me and Lane here playing Candy's Free. My favorite in the yeah, series. Okay. Probably has the best atmosphere. And it's good. And this is the last one in the series until I guess FNAF 4 comes out. Uh, Jerry Springer's first thoughts. It good. I like. I like the look of Monster Rat. He has good quality. Mmm. <clears throat> very good. Okay, moving on. This one's a little different. Scary. Turn it off. This one's a little different. Like it's not like instantly like regular gameplay. Okay. <clears throat> Who am I gonna do for the voice in this one? Just do um... a normal voice. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Fine. It's been two weeks. I understand Good. that it was a very traumatic experience. But luckily you wasn't seriously hurt. He died. <laughs> you have to remember they weren't real. They were just machines. They aren't capable of harming anyone. What happened was just an accident. He was just broken. Discord notification. <laughs> but it's okay now. You're safe here. You remember them from the theater? Oh yes, the old one that you and your father went to a year ago, right? Your father has told me about what happened while you were there. You got separated from each other that day when the incident happened. Have you still had nightmares since we last met, son? Were they about those monsters you drew for me? <laughs> God dang it, Bobby. You're a very creative girl. Bobby's a girl's name. <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown. But you can't let your fears take control of your imagination. You mind if I take these concepts from my fan fiction? In order for your nightmares to end, you have to face your fears. We're gonna make these two things real. <laughs> you have to face the monsters in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Show them that you're not afraid. Do you understand? Just to let you know, if you let these things get you, they'll kill you. It's the only way. Just gonna, I'm gonna do Hang Hill, <laughs> but in like that text-to-speech way, just like, No, Mary, I need you to try and remember what happened on that day a year ago. That's essentially just me talking. Mm. <laughs> Hello, it's, it's me. Cat. I'm the origami cat. How am How I here? I <laughs> You're dreaming right now, sort of, at least. This room you're in is your old room from before you moved. But right now, it looks like you barely remember it. You've had a lot of nightmares lately, right? Well, that's why I am here. <clears throat> I have a couple of tricks to fighting the monsters. Remember a few years ago, you had trouble sleeping almost every night? So your dad gave you a cassette tape player. 
with a tape with quiet music that he made for you so you could sleep. I bet it would also help you with sleeping better now. I bet I could tell you what the music the is. The other thing is, the monsters hate light, so I suggest flashing light in their eyes whenever you can. Unless they're under your bed. Listen for if they go there. In such a case, peek under the bed to see which side they're at. Then go back up and face the opposite direction. Turning your back will lure them out from under the bed. This is what I actually messed up with while I was trying out like a couple nights ago. <laughs> I think I looked in yeah. the wrong direction. <laughs> Listen closely for the sound of them peeking out and then face back towards the opposite end of the room again to give them a good dose of light in the eyes. Now, go look for the tape player. I'll stay here if you need my help. Oh, this game pretty sure. It's a little bit of a trick. Oh, we've got a thing here. Part of a newspaper article. Read it. Sure. After closing so soon, the brand new YM animatronics were sent back to... <laughs> Rumors are circulating that the animatronics will be used as a base for newer designs of advanced fully mobile animatronics, which are speculated to be used for a future project. Mm -hmm. Didn't know they had newspapers in this realm. Didn't know girls could read. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're <laughs> think it was this one. <laughs> ah, there it is. Look at that girlie running with her hat, holding her head and holding and her hand. Arcade game <laughs> one. And the tape player. Let's go. Okay. I know how, I know how the tape player functions, so I'm just gonna go straight to bed. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a, a secret ending you can get in this game from the origami cat. Like, oh yeah, there's a little, like if I go over here, origami cat, I can just click on it and knock you over. <laughs> if you do that every night, you get a secret ending. So this is the game. Oh, actually, tape player, turn you on. The tape player uh, speeds up time, so it makes the nights go a little bit faster. Do you remember how I was saying that there's a little decoration in this game that will remind you of something? Yeah. What decoration is that? Oh, did you see that door open for a second? Do you see those? Oh, two there's Pop yeah, Goes and Rachel, Rachel and Doug. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rachel and then. And yeah, there was the rat. The rat appeared in there. He can appear from the cupboard, the door, the door, or here. And the and that. And so you just need to scroll through the three. I like this game. <laughs> I like the atmosphere in there. It's my boy. <laughs> so you can only appear from those three places. Obviously, it gets much harder though. I like this game a lot more because it, it took the FNAF 4 mechanic, but drastically mm. made it a little better. <laughs> <laughs> made it a lot more scary. Oh, the tape player has finished, so I need to rewind it. The rat will get in eventually. Like, I'm pretty sure it's like it possible, probably not to make him get in the room but yeah, yeah i'm pretty sure it happens at least once on the night so you've not you've not seen this game before no i have not seen this before what's your first I'm impressions i'm completely enamored with this it definitely has like a much more scary atmosphere than most other games i've seen <laughs> i like this mechanic so much to be honest <laughs> Okay, so I gotta make sure to see he is to the. Okay, so I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna turn right because I fucked up. I looked left and he killed me. There you go. It's gone for now. Fuck. That's that's pretty interesting. Yeah. <laughs> You scare it off using light. I didn't mean to. I don't know why, but I'm oddly calm, like, playing this one. 
This, this one makes me want to shit myself just from the atmosphere alone. Yeah, this one has the best atmosphere. <laughs> there has there's not been very many horror games that I've played that have made me so alone in the atmosphere. I think that's what it benefits this one because we're playing as a kid. He's having like obviously like, it's like from F F F four, but again, a lot better. Behind you. Oh wait, what? What? He wasn't there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, yeah, the the jump scares are a little bit ramped up in this. <laughs> but did you see him at all? <laughs> no. I'm gonna have to rewatch that in the footage, but that was actually quite weird. I, mean, I think if a Mil Mako is working on FNAC 4, which it probably most likely is because of the teaser that I saw in Remastered. I hope it tops this. Where is he? There he is, okay. I hope it tops this, even though this one is really good. I think it would, this one was actually regarded as quite innovative at the time as well. Right, under the bed. He is to there, so I have to look this way. Then wait for it. Turn around. Hello. <laughs> there was definitely an upgrade in like the model quality he had in this as well. <laughs> oh yeah. Most definitely. Staring at that thing in the face is fucking terrifying. <laughs> Covered. See, I'm not actually hearing anything on my end, but you are, which is actually kind of weird. <laughs> Did you hear anything when he, like, came out of the bed? No. Hmm. When he comes out from the bed, he doesn't make any noise. Okay, so he's gone under the bed. He's on... Right, so right. look at the left. One, two, three, four. Too soon. I'm probably yeah, dead. <laughs> look again. No. Um, yeah, <laughs> dead. Damn. <laughs> you looked too soon. Not too soon. Because, like you said, there was no sound to signify when he came out, so it's like. That's a little tricky. I would count to five. Right back to five. I'll give it one more shot. The character we're playing in this game is called Mary. Okay. Me. The person we're playing as in Five Nights at Candy's one at the end of it is also called Mary. Mary Schmidt. Yeah. The person uh, you're playing as in Candy's two is also called Mary. A different Mary? Nope. They're all the same Mary. We're playing as Mary as a kid in this game. I assume in Candy's 2 she's a teenager. Or... So it goes, so then... it goes 3, 2, 1 or 3, 1, 2? I think it's... I think... I feel like it's 3, 2, 1. It could be 3, 1, 2. I actually don't entirely know. He's in the room somewhere. I heard him. I heard the sound. There yeah, he's, he's at the door. Um, Because in... Wait. Snack to like Mary loses a bet and she has to tape stay. Recorder. Oh yeah, tape recorder. I forgot about that. But she has to spend like five nights in that old abandoned factory again. He's here. Tape recorder. And then I guess she ended up getting a job as a night guard in Candy's one because yeah. <laughs> Because she got a morbid fascination with animatronics from her nightmares as a child. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to look into the story of Candy's again. He's in the room. He was, to, he was to the right. He was to the right. You just missed him. Okay. I saw him in the door, but you didn't look far enough. Okay, so under the bed. He's to the right. right. Look to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Go, go, go. Yeah, there is no sound at all for that. Now I don't want to look into the bed. No, 
Tape recording, go. Monster cat might be there. <laughs> nah. <laughs> He's everywhere. Why don't we just turn... Why don't we just turn the light on? Yeah, but that's no fun. <laughs> maybe, maybe the electricity bill is very high. I guess. Is that a lamp behind us? He's there. There's a lamp right here. Just turn the lamp on. Yeah, there's a lamp behind us. Clap on. Clap off. There's a lamp behind us. We can turn the lamp on and then, like, that area is lit up, meaning the rat would be like, oh, shit. I can't go there, I guess. <laughs> What's that there's like, a... Tom Clancy splinter cell thing on to the right? Like, up, no, up, up, up. Uh, to the right. Up, uh, green things on the ceiling. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I just realised the tape player's he's, gone. He's... That's Jacksepticeye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was like a splinter cell thing. <laughs> Covered. Ugh. Tell me we're at 5am. I, ju I, I jumped again. <laughs> Hello. Oh, <laughs> it's like, uh oh, it's 6 a.m. It's like, hmm. Hello. Like, well, I got a problem. I'm stuck under your bed now for the whole. It's like, <laughs> like that. It's like 10, 6 a.m. The dad walks into the room and he sees like a giant monster rat uh, sticking out from out of the bed. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I guess I should have believed you. Oh, hello. Hey, you kid, I'm the rat, and has to meet ya. Say, the show's about I'm to start in a few minutes. You wanna play hide and seek? Nito, you go and hide, then I'll Ooh. stay here. Count to Let's... 100. Alright. Let's play hide the soul. Where should we hide? Inside that boy. It's your... I think you can hide under like a machine by a certain closet by one of those. Uh. <laughs> sort of bird. But you can hide. Whack a mole. Hide of the whack a mole. Can I hide in the table? When he comes looking for you, just go peek a boo! Mm, yeah. That's a bit, that's simple. Hello. Hi, can I hide in your pants? Can't be having, can't be the place. If you don't, it's just the two of us while your brother is at camp. So you can decide what oh, you dad. for dinner tonight. Your Was that you making that noise? Yeah. <laughs> that was actually really good. The locker, in the locker. In the closet, sure. Why not? Let's, let's do this. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> ah! Found you. He was already in the closet. <laughs> he was the closet, like, fuck! Oh, so that's why you have nightmares. He just was like, BOOM! <laughs> it's like, ah. Well, okay, so... That... <coughs> like, usually we do two nights, but we've gone for half an hour. Almost 40 minutes. Just for the one <laughs> night. But I, I actually, yes, yes, I yes. would like to, like, continue this one, though, because... I do like this one a lot. <laughs> That's fair, I suppose. Yeah, we'll leave it there for now. We'll probably come back to this one. So. We won't have a Jerry Springer's final thoughts because it's What not was here. your Jerry Springer's first thoughts of this game? Um, my Jerry Springer's first thoughts are it's very atmospheric. Best one so far? It is very. Just, it's the only one that's like made me genuinely jump so far. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that's what the first two didn't have for me. The first two were very early early fan games. This one was like the one that kind of tried doing something new. And that's also the thing that Final Nights One didn't do for me. Hmm. Like it wasn't scary. It was just tedious. It's it's more like a difficult puzzle game than a horror game. Like, oh, turn this way, turn this way, flashlight, flash, turn this way, flashlight, turn this way, flashlight, turn this way, flashlight. Uh, rinse and repeat. Then you get into the, then you get into the, the attic, and you're like, uh, 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 
done. <laughs> but then Final Nights 2, that started to get me. <laughs> I have a weird, I do have a bit of a weird, like, interest with this game. Like I so said, like with FNAF, FNAF 2, not my favourite, don't like it. This one, this one's my favourite, I get scared by it, but I want to play it. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't yeah. know what it is about it, I just like it a lot. It's that yeah. is so strange though because I hate FNAF 4. I can't play FNAF 4, but I can play this. I don't know why. Yeah, uh, Final Nights 2, it really started to get me because I actually felt like I was in danger. <laughs> like you had Foxy coming from behind me, you had Freddy coming through the vents to the right of me, you had the brother in the little cubby hole to the left. I felt tense whilst playing that. Yeah. And it, we only did the first night. This video will probably be out before those, but I will. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see you for more of Candy's Free, I guess, because I want to continue this. Yeah.